assembly, the house of the Lord. I am so glad to see you this morning. Glad that you made an effort to come. And uh, we're going to begin our morning worship service. We welcome those of you that are watching online, uh, either YouTube or Facebook. Welcome to our Sunday morning service. We're going to get ready to have some uh, praise here in just a little while. But first, I want to invite those of you that are here in the house to please stand with me. I, I, I started a new habit, a good habit, to <laughs> start the service with something from the Word of God to encourage us. And this is found in Psalm 145, uh, verse 1 to 5. It says, I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and will, I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise uh, your works to another, and shall declare your mighty works on the glorious splendor of your majesty, and on your wonderful works, I will meditate. Talk about something to think about. That's what it's saying. That if you want, if you want something good to think of, on the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wonderful works, I will meditate. Let's go to the Lord in the word of prayer. Lord, may our thoughts be pleasing to you as the psalmist said in Psalm 19, verse 14. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be pleasing to you. And God, what better way for them to be pleasing to you are thoughts when they are like when they are thoughts of you on your works and what you've done in our life. God, this morning, uh, may we prepare our hearts. May we already have come prepared to just get stirred up again for what we are going to do, Lord, which is worship and praise your name. For you and you alone are worthy to be praised. We ask for those that can't be here, whether sickness or distance or discouragement or, or God, they just need a push uh, of encouragement. Uh, God, we pray that that will take place soon, Lord. They will be in the house of the Lord. And thank you for those that are here. May our praise to you be pleasing. We ask this in the name of Jesus and all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Look at someone, and if you don't do anything else, just smile at them. Just smile at them. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. You know, that a smile goes a, a mile. It does sometimes. Have you ever walked out around and just smiled at someone? I do it at Walmart. Of course, it comes naturally for me. Sometimes I see people greet me and, uh, and smile back and. Uh, and uh, some of them had a long face before they met me, and then they smiled. Of course, some of them smiled, and then they went back to their long face. <laughs> but at least they smiled for a little while. Uh, the world needs to see a little bit more cheer, a little bit more. And we've got something to smile about. Amen. Because we know the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. You would unmute the acoustic, please. Great and mighty is the Lord our God. Great is mighty is the Lord our God. Great is the Lord our God. Great is mighty is the Lord our God. Your back is at the end of the day. Great is the Lord our God.
So I'm just here enjoying, uh, just enjoying fellowship with the saints. Uh, we should always be always coming to church and being yes. faithful to the Lord. So I'm just happy to be praising God in the house of worship today. Amen. Amen. Glad to be here. Thank you for having me. Thank you, brother. Amen. I love to see young people uh, with God, walking with God, and that's that's beautiful. Damien, you be you, you be a light there in, in your camps, and wherever you go, may God use you because we need we need a lot more young people. Pastor Barajas, I know you're very proud of Sister Barajas, is very, and he is he is a young man that loves God. And we just encourage him any way we can. We're glad to have been a part of that. Uh, also good to see uh, Hector, man. Hector, we haven't seen you in a while. There's Hector over there, sitting quietly, doing the doing what he does best, sitting <laughs> quietly. Amen. That's, that's Hector. We love you, Hector. It's good to see you. Welcome. You're always welcome to be here with us. And Bing, it's good to see you, Bing, this morning. God bless you. I love you. We've been praying for you. Praise God. And God's God, God's with you. He said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. So God's with you, and this church is with you. Amen. Amen. So you're never alone. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is good. All the time. time. And all the time. All the time. And let's push it up about two steps up. God is awesome. All the time. And all the time. God is awesome. Yes, He is. Awesome. Praise the Lord. And yeah. worthy to be praised. Want to get a couple of announcements? Uh, out of the way as the ushers get ready to come. Uh, I don't see Mercedes here, but tomorrow uh, Mercedes uh, was uh, going to get a spot in the park for the 4th of July. And uh, uh, I don't know if she's arranging uh, meals for people to take over there, but you just contact Mercedes one way or another. Uh, we're going to be tomorrow at the park in the afternoon. There's a little spot there she knows she can better best explain it. And uh, we're going to be having a little bit of fellowship out there in the park. We won't have uh, our regular prayer night uh, tomorrow night because of that. We'll pick it up the following uh, Monday. And Pastor Barakas will be speaking next Sunday. Looking forward to what the Lord uh, will bring us to him. Amen. At this time, we're going to take up our tithes and our offerings. It's a good thing to worship God. It's not only a good thing, but it's an important thing to worship God. And it's a reason why we come to church. I've been in church ever since I was a little boy, very young. It's, I can remember my earliest memories of going to the house of the Lord. And sometimes if we're not careful, uh, even though it's a good habit, it can just become a habit. And we can lose the meaning behind it. But coming to the house of the Lord, we need to remind ourselves it's all about God. It's about worshiping. It's about clearing our mind and praising. You know, every day that we wake up, it's an act of mercy by God. The health that we enjoy we take for granted until we lose it. Have you ever heard so bad something as simple as a headache? Something as simple as a headache. Real bad. I mean really bad. For all you can think of, if I could just get rid of this headache, because you don't feel like doing nothing, you can't do anything, you can't concentrate, you just sometimes, if it's bad enough, you just sit there and lay down, whatever. And you think, if only I didn't have it, it would last for hours. And yet, when we're healthy, sometimes we just take it for granted. I want to worship God every day of my life. I worship you, oh my